Lesson 11, three variables, example 2. In part 1, for A is greater than naught, B is greater than naught, and C is greater than naught, we have to show that A squared plus B squared plus C squared is greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus AC. Now again, we'll start with A minus B, all squared being greater than or equal to 0. Removing those brackets, we get A squared minus 2AB plus B squared is greater than or equal to 0. That is, A squared plus B squared is greater than or equal to 2AB. Now, let's write this over here. So we've got A squared plus B squared is greater than or equal to 2AB, which means, of course, that B squared plus C squared must be greater than or equal to 2BC. And likewise, we have that A squared plus C squared is going to be greater than or equal to 2AC. Now, adding those all up, you get the fact that 2A squared plus 2B squared plus 2C squared is greater than or equal to 2 outside of AB plus BC plus AC. We could have factorised this also 2 outside of A squared plus B squared plus C squared is greater than or equal to 2 outside of AB plus BC plus AC. Then divide both sides by, by 2, we get A squared plus B squared plus C squared is greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus AC as required. Right, in part 2, hence show that A plus B plus C all squared is greater than or equal to again, 3 outside of AB plus BC plus AC. Right, now what I'll do, I'll take this across the other side and write this as A plus B plus C all squared minus 3 outside of AB plus BC plus AC is greater than or equal to 0. And we'll look at the left-hand side. Equals. Now, what we'll do is we'll expand all this out. And you get that result there. Now, what happens next is you'll notice that you've got an AB here, an AB here, and a minus 3AB here. So what's going to happen, you'll get A squared plus B squared plus C squared, and this will give us a minus AB, and similarly we'll get a minus AC and a minus BC. Now, um, if you recall, we know that A squared, from the previous one, that A squared plus B squared plus C squared is greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus AC. Right, which of course means that A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus AB minus BC minus AC is greater than or equal to naught. Which of course means that the left hand side left hand side is greater than or equal to naught. And if that's true, this is true, and therefore our uh, inequality is true.